my fellow Americans, what I'm about to say will seem like a conspiracy theory, extreme, and frankly insane. But unfortunately, if you will do a search on Yahoo, Google, Bing, MSN, or just about any of the search engines, including YouTube, you'll find there's a series of laws now in the United States that's been around now for about a decade. There's the Patriot Acts. There's actually more than one, but you can look up the Patriot Act. The Military Commissions Act of 2016 and 2009, possibly other years. Then, of course, there's the Real ID Act. There is, of course, the National Defense Authorization Act and other ones. But these ones that I have mentioned, the Patriot Act, the Military Commissions Act, the um, National Defense Authorization Act, these, and the Real ID Act, these acts have collectively taken away all freedom in the United States of America. Now, I want you to listen very carefully. You will observe nothing seems to be different. People still go into the park. People will be playing in here. I still apparently have freedom of speech, and I'm bringing you these videos. It looks as if it were the same United States of 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 years ago. But the problem is, there are now laws on the books where you can lose every one of your civil liberties and your human rights. Under the Patriot Act, under the Military Commissions Act, under the Real ID Act, and of course, under the National Defense Authorization Act, all 314 million Americans are subject to actually be locked up without a trial, without an attorney, indefinitely, and can even be terminated if you are called a terrorist or an enemy combatant. If you want to go in an airplane in the United States as of June the 6th, you must show a national ID or national compliant identification card. All of these things are under the guise of our security, under the guise of homeland security and protecting us. However, they do neither. They actually make us more in danger than at any time in the history of our nation. And they force us to give even more of our rights more of our sovereignty, more of our privacy, and more of our citizenry away. It is, in effect, almost as if it is the mark of the devil. It seems to be the beginning of what we have heard from religious zealots. Pretty soon it feels as if we're going to be having to have a tattoo with the number 666 or the number 616, or instead of having a tattoo or a mark, an identification. Now the reality of it is, as of June the 6th, Pennsylvanians will not be able to get in an airplane unless they have a brand new National Real ID Act compliant license. Their Pennsylvania license and their Pennsylvania IDs will no longer be effective. And I believe this to be a tragedy a betrayal of our founders, a betrayal of every American. It is not going to help us with security. The only thing it is doing is making a slave of every citizen in America and in reality, every citizen on the planet. My name, ma'am, and my name, sir, is Albert Turcaso, T-O-R-C-A-S-O. I know that many of you will not believe what I have said. I ask you to do the research online at your Google, your, your Yahoo, 
your YouTube, your Bing, your MSN, your Lycos, or go to a traditional library. You will find that these laws exist, and even more laws than that. You will find that the Real ID Act is a reality. The Military Commissions Act of 2009 and 2006, and of course the Patriot Act, and the National Defense Authorization Act. You will find that these measures happened mainly under the Republican Party and a Republican-controlled House and Senate, and it also was allowed to continue under your national Democratic parties when they had control. That means that both parties are guilty. Both parties, both political presidents, uh, Democratic presidents, and Republican. They have stolen away our rights. They have stolen away our freedom. How long will it be before we can't go to these parks again? How long will it be before we have to show ID just to go across the street? My name is Albert Tercasso, and I beg you, pay attention. Go and verify what I have said.